Hello, my name is Libby. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the different methods of birth control. So that way when you go talk to your healthcare professionals, well, you know, you'll be able to follow a little bit what they're going on about. The most common method, the one that most people know about is of course the condom. And the condom serves two purposes. It can have a dual role. Not only does it prevent pregnancy, it also helps to protect you against sexually transmitted infections. There is the birth control pill. These are pills that you have to take every day at the same time. If you miss a pill and you don't make it up, you're no longer protected. It has to be taken every day. There is the diaphragm. This is something that you insert right before you have intercourse. It's inserted into the vagina. There is the Nuva ring. This is a ring that it goes around the cervix. It's normally round, um, but it can be inserted with a tampon or you can use your fingers. The main thing is that it goes around the cervix. You wear it for three weeks, you take it out, you have a period, and then you put a new one back in. There is the Depo Provera injection, which is a shot that you go into your doctor's office and you get that every 12 weeks. It has to be given every 12 weeks. That one has been known to have women put on a little bit of weight. So if you start doing the Depo Provera, what you need to do is write down what your weight is the day that you get your very first injection and then see what your weight is accordingly after each shot. There is the birth control patch. Some ladies don't like the patch. They find the gum irritating. Some don't. It's all a personal preference. There's, of course, the next Nexplanon. There is an implant that goes into the upper arm, and it's good for three years. That is what's known as a long-term reversible method of birth control. There is an IUD, which is a little T-shape that goes into the uterus. This is the Kylena IUD. You have it in for five years. Well, it can work for five years. This is a long-term reversible method of birth control as well. This one is designed for women that have not had children for a cervix that has not been dilated. And pretty much what the IUD does is makes the uterus uninhabitable for pregnancy. The Kylena sister is the Morena IUD. That one will go in like butter right after you had a baby, but it's designed for women that have already born children. There is also the Paragard IUD. That is a non-hormonal copper IUD, and it is good for 10 years. And really the only complaint that some women have about the Paragard IUD is that their periods are a little bit heavier than what they were accustomed to. Not that you bleed like a stuffed pig, it's just heavier than what you were accustomed to. Those are the methods that have to be prescribed by a doctor. You know, I just totally lost my train of thought. Where was I going with this? Oh, but all of these, you can stop at any time. They don't make you sterile. They don't. The thing is, is that you don't know whether or not you're fertile until you're actually trying to have a baby. The birth control pill stops you from ovulating. The diaphragm is supposed to catch the semen and then you take it out. But the thing about semen is that it can stay alive in the vagina anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. That's where spermicides can kind of come in because then you can put in a spermicide after, but that's only about 75% effective. And yes, you can get pregnant with free cum. And yes, you can get pregnant on the very first time that you had sex. Now, all of these methods are designed for people that have yet to have children or don't want any more children right now. If you are done with kids, there are permanent methods of birth control. You know, ladies, you can get your tubes tied. They're not doing the East Shore in the United States anymore, and I, I don't remember why. Fellas, you can get a vasectomy. Just like that. I get asked all the time, I work for a gynecologist, and I get asked all the time, people are just like, oh, Miss Libby, what's the best method of birth control? What is the one that will not fail? Abstinence. Where's the fun in that? So I hope this has been helpful. One thing I want to mention as well 
none of these that you have to get the prescription for protect against sexually transmitted infections. They don't. They only prevent pregnancy. The pill, the IUD, the shot, and the implant are more than 99% effective. When it comes to the birth control pill, if you have high blood pressure or you're a nursing mother and you're on a progesterone only birth control pill, that's, only, that's a little bit more than 98% effective. Withdrawal is a method of birth control, but that one's only about 45% effective. Withdrawal is what you know some of you may call pull and pray. Yeah, plan B doesn't always work. If you have already gotten pregnant, plan B is not gonna work. It does not cause you to miscarry. It does not abort. It just doesn't work. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you next time. Take care.